What is up guys, it's your friendly neighborhood photographer here and today we got another video for you guys about why you should shoot for free and how you can do it. So let's get to it, roll the intro. So let's talk about the obvious reason here why you should shoot for free and I know you hear this everywhere you go on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, every, any photographer is going to tell you you should shoot for free because it's going to build your portfolio and this is like one of the main important things for any creator out there is building your portfolio. If you don't have any work to show nobody's ever going to hire you. So if you build your portfolio and start shooting for free you're going to meet new people, get new clients, just you know you just start meeting new people and those people can become potential clients in the future and while doing this you're gonna gain experience experience is like the number one thing any photographer like really needs if you're just starting out it's kind of hard to get any experience if you're charging right off the bat and the better you get the higher you can charge later on in the future so experience is key here it shouldn't all be about money sometimes you know like if you're shooting with a camera you're doing it because you love it you can go work a nine to five somewhere really easily but if you got a camera you're shooting because you have a passion for it it's not all about the money sometimes you want to do this because you're having fun with it all right so let's talk about how you can do this so the best way i think for any creator to start off is start shooting everything whether it be real estate portraits families quinceaneras i mean like whatever there's food there's pets i mean you can do a whole lot of things one you need to know what you like to shoot you know because i don't there's a lot of things i don't like to shoot so once you start figuring out what you like to shoot then you start shoot, getting really good at something that you really enjoy shooting so for me it was portraits if you start trying to do everything at once it's kind of hard to really get good at something All right, another way that I've also done this is I've reached out to clients. So now that I'm actually doing my video work, this is the other way that you could do it. I actually go to local coffee shops or, or businesses or real estate agents and actually go in person and ask them, hey, can I shoot you a free video? And in return, they get a video, I get experience, and then I get something to post later on to show off to people that hey I'm, I'm doing some work and that you know this is what I can do and eventually I am getting clients now from the work I did for a good month or two months of just creating content for people all right so a big factor of this is don't be scared trying to get my first client uh, I had the biggest anxiety of asking for to do a video shoot and just get over it like <laughs> if you want to get into this industry you got to get over your anxiety of asking people because you're kind of a salesperson here um after you do the first client and actually approaching to them and talking to them just having a conversation about what you can do and what you can offer to these people also remember keep in the back of your head when you're doing all this work for free that think of the long term don't think of the short term right now about trying to make money because if you're trying to charge people and you're not ready to really charge people you can lose a potential client and you're trying to think of long term here because you want to get as many clients as you possibly can as you possibly can and make a living from this so if you offer them free work now and then they eventually like it and then they eventually hire you later on there you go instead of setting your prices up and they see you just as a number and they end up declining you in the first go so just remember your 10 year plan of where you want your business to be at and how you can achieve that goal now Thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe i hope you enjoyed the video today and got something out of it let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see on this channel or like what video i should do next i'm kind of interested in what you guys want to watch or what videos i should make because there's so many ideas i got whether it be photography battles or a certain type of photo shoot you'd like to see or the behind the scenes or maybe some more business content i just i don't care like why not make the videos that you guys want to watch so yeah, so thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.